Hello and welcome to PJL, my name is Dean. Uh, I want to discuss some things that we're particularly passionate about at PJL, uh, especially uh, asset management. Uh, what we are trying to do is get uh, bring some intelligence to asset management, management of machines in the underground environment. So I want you to think of mining as a game. The game is, is to get as much dirt from underground to the surface as possible. This is the game and this is how we play. We have machine underground that's a very poor drawing of a bucket. So that bucket you put ore and that ore is worth money. The trick is to get as much of that to the surface and to the mill as humanly possible. So what does it mean? If you're going to do this, what's the meaning? What does it actually mean? Here's what it means. I've got a fictional gold company. We've just pulled these figures out because this is stuff that we know about. It doesn't represent any particular mine. So we've got a fixed gold company, the grade is 5 grams a tonne, but we cover 90% of that through the mill, so we end up with 4.5 grams a tonne. What does it mean? So this bucket, we've said is a 7.5 grams a bucket. So we've worked out how much dirt in this bucket. 7.5 grams a cube, the specific gravity of 2.2, multiply that by fill ratio, you fill it about 85% of the time, you fill it to 85%. So, 14 tonnes, uh, it ends up at 14 tonnes. So I've got a 60-40 split in this mine of ore uh, versus load. So 60% of that ore, and so we've got 8.415 tonnes of ore. What does that mean? So, if we've got 8.415 tonnes, multiply this by how many grams per tonne, 8.5 grams, that's going to equal, roughly an ounce of game, have a system here, by the way. 37.8. 37.8 grams. Roughly a troy ounce. Troy ounce at the moment in Australian dollars, 1760 bucks. So every bucket I dig in this mine is worth $1,760. Every time I don't do that, and I don't get this to here, I fail. The trick with asset management is understanding this. You have to create a support mechanism that allows you to do this more often with regularity and reliability. And that's what we specialise in at PJO. So there's a couple of things. We've, we've gathered some collective intelligence. There's a whole heap of people that work at PJO that have been in the game for years. So we tap into that intelligence, that stuff that people carry around in their heads, and we put it in the plan. We've also got strategic planning. So the strategic planning, while we're on it, is this. We've got a life cycle of insurance. Say we started at zero hours, and the first time that we see the thing, the servicing is at the 250 hour servicing. Typically, from here to here, it's around about a three week period operating underground. Depending on the mine, it could be three weeks, it could be four weeks. We've gone for the middle, three weeks. In that three weeks, what happens there? It's the collective intelligent model. Gathering the collective intelligence from all the people in our organisation, we've actually come to quantify this. We know what to do there to maximise this. So it's not maintenance per se, but it's really, I discussed it with James earlier actually, it's more like the mechanical support mechanism for production. So with that mechanical support mechanism aligned to here, we actually maximise your profit. Now this is a conversation that has needed to be had for a long time. Because my maintenance in the mining department, I was thinking about this, their KPI is due to the availability. I think we should stop thinking about availability and start thinking about tons. Because it's tons and this pays the bills. So then that brings us to this our 50 hour service interval. What happens when we go to the next big interval, which is up here, which is a thousand hours? What happens at two thousand hours? These <laughs> intervals represent opportunities. Those opportunities we maximise so that this happens with greater regularity. So really, strategic asset management planning in the underground environment is about understanding this. You support this, guaranteed to make it. So we're going to leave it there, but we will come back with some more stuff. We're going to try and do this regularly, probably one a month. 
So join us. Um, we'll have some fun with it. And I'll see you next time.